guys, welcome to another episode of the Mill Social Talk Podcast. Again, this is uh, Leroy, and today we have a very, very special show. We have a, a number of uh, Devon Banks, um, I'm going to say representative, and they will bring us what we need to know regarding community development. Now, as, as many of you guys know, we always have Devon Bank on our, on our podcast, and Devon is one of the partners of Mills Realty. So we have Penny, who's, in a, who's a, or CRA uh, at, I'm gonna say administrator. Or I'm gonna say officer. CRA, CRA officer. officer. And then we'll bring in uh, Caroline and then Gabby. And so these three ladies will bring us a, a pretty uh, uh, enough information to let us know how the bank works, what's going on with the bank, how the program works, and how the program will benefit you and the community. So if you're looking, listen to this. We want you to share this video. We want you to, because this is a video. If you're looking to buy, you're thinking about it, you want to know where can you get money, this will be the program for you. So we have a lot to talk about today. And so as we move into this session again, this is the Mill Social Talk podcast. You know, guys, we thank you. This is our fifth season. We thank you for showing up every time to listen to this program. So, Penny, I want to introduce you. Introduce yourself, who you are, what do you do here, and let's talk about what you do. Okay, I'm Penny Wallingford and I am the CRA officer. And first, I'm going to tell you, CRA stands for the Community Reinvestment Act. Okay. And Good. as you probably know, banks are regulated entities. You know, the financial government says, okay, we're going to allow you the privilege and the responsibility of handling the public's money. All right, but in return, there's a number of things you, the bank, has to do. Okay. And one of them is to comply with the Community Reinvestment Act. Okay. And that really came out of, you know, in the old days, there was redlining, right? Correct, correct. And so the Community Reinvestment Act is sort of a response to that. It says, if you're taking the money from a neighborhood as deposits, you need to be sure you're serving that neighborhood. Right. Right? That's good. Yeah, it is but, a good thing. Quick question. I, I, I want to, yeah, when did that came in the, I mean, the CRA been around now, for a while, Now, see, right? I told you you were going to ask me these questions <laughs> about these details that no, I did not have idea. my notes for. So, I can't tell you the But, year. I mean, uh, is, is it the past decade? Or past? Oh, yeah, decades. Decades, all right. Decades. Cool. But it is being, uh, it is, there are promulgated changes mm -hmm. that we expect to be adopted this year. In 2023, so it might look a little different going forward. Okay. Um, so that's that's really kind that's of the background. Is, so so I just want to want to stay on that. When he says the community's money, what does that mean? It, or the public's money? I mean, All right. Well, so each bank gets to define what their area is. It's called your CRA assessment area. So we get to define our neighborhood. So we're a little family-owned bank, right? And we have three. Really, we've got our headquarters here in West Ridge, Rogers Park, and then we've got two other branch locations, and one's in Glenview and one's in Wheeling. So we think that our area is really Cook County and Lake County. Okay. We define that. Okay, so it's a broad, it says area, I'm, I'm thinking Rogers Park, so this is pretty broad. Yeah, it's, it's, pretty, it, it's yeah. pretty broad, because yeah. I mean, really, even though we're here in Rogers Park, I mean, it's really the Chicago metro area right, that metro, kind of right, cool. kind of works together, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so, but anyhow, uh, you could define your assessment area too little, and you know, the examiners might say, "Well, you know, that's not really legit." So you have to be kind of legit. I couldn't just say my area was the Gold Coast, okay. or my area was Lincoln Park. Okay. <laughs> so. so. So, 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 like, we're, we're getting, getting away, you broaden, you kind of broad. And you can't cherry pick it. You have to, you have to have a balanced approach. You, you know, I couldn't cherry pick my neighborhoods. I couldn't cherry pick to say, I'm only going to serve high income and, yeah. neighborhoods. Right? So, 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 how does that, so, so the, the people that are coming to you, or that's part of the CRA, so are, are we giving money or are we just making sure they get money or? No, uh, no. How does that? Serving. Well, the reason why I said it, okay, it says community redevelopment, right? No, so it doesn't be... say community redevelopment. It says community reinvestment. Oh, reinvestment. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. So does that mean that are we reinvesting the money here or just Cook County and Lake County or the people that's coming to you? I mean, do we do 
they expect to get money or? All right, so what is the main job of a bank? What is the main bank? This is what I'm trying to get I'm to. I'm going to ask you, what is, what is your understanding of the main job of a bank? What is a bank? To loan money. To, to loan, loan money. Well, right. yeah, I mean, for me, it's to loan money, right? To loan money. Okay. So that is the main test for CRA. It's your lending test. Are you lending money to your community? Okay. That's right. the main purpose. That's Well, that's the main test. But then mm -hmm. there's other tests as okay. well. Then there's... It's going to be tricky. It's called the community development test. Okay. So they look at where we're lending money, and mm -hmm. for us, you know, the kind of bank we are, they look at where we have our mortgages, right? Mm -hmm. That's part of Gabby's job. She's out there originating mortgages. And then we've got our commercial lenders. They're out there uh, originating what we get count, we get credit for small business loans, right? Mm -hmm. And when they look at those mortgages and they look at those small business loans, they look and say, okay, you know, how many of those are in mm, census tracts that are low and moderate income? And then they look and say, and how does that compare to your peers? Are you doing better or worse than your peers at lending your mortgages and your small business loans to low and moderate income census tracts? All right? So... You know, we're always comparing ourselves to our peers and saying, okay, we want to do as good or better than our peers. You know, that's, that's what we say. And uh, our commercial lenders, we get to look not only compare ourselves on the basics of the, the demographics of the census tract, um, I mean, our, our, homebo our homeowners, we also look at the household income. Okay. Are we lending to borrowers that are in the low and moderate income households as well as oh, yeah. upper and middle. Yeah. And we compare ourselves to our peer group. So is, is there a guideline like, um, for example, um, you know what? Uh, is there a guideline like 25% of your loan should be right, there? Right, should be there. Yeah, there I there. only wish there was. <laughs> <laughs> no, there is, there is no hard guideline. They, the examiners look to what your peers are because you're going to see it's pretty different in Chicago where there's a lot of banks and financial institutions mm -hmm. than if you were in small town Nebraska. So if you so can imagine if you can imagine what the competition looks like for getting home loans here compared to getting home loans in small town Nebraska. So do you think Maybe. so do you do you Just based on uh, the program, you're gearing towards, well, you're not gearing towards lower, or you, you're gearing towards people, and just to make sure that they have the loan that, they're, that they should have, right? That's what, you, that's what you're gearing towards. We're gearing is, it, is it a little tricky to say, um, well, I am, you know, you, and, and, you know, I talk to Gavin sometimes, and I remember Gavin saying, I want to get those loans, I want to get those loans. <laughs> Can I jump in? I get yeah, I get started. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, All yeah, right, good. Good. Jump in. Hi. So it's wait, wait, <laughs> well, well, let's get, I'm gonna, get, I'm get, gonna, we'll get on I get too excited about stuff like this. <laughs> this is something that we're passionate about. Penny being our CRA mm. officer. We like to work with the community. Mm. So I said, you know what? I wanna man, how can I do a time in? Because I really wanna make sure that we talk about, you know, what, what, what we're what talking, talking about. about. Yeah, right. So um just to to go a little bit back on CRA, mm -hmm. um, Leroy, so we, yes, part of it, so part of our test is to, we're graded um, in lending, mm -hmm. investment, and services, right? Okay. Community, the community development test involve, includes services, investment, and donations. And sponsorships and lending, right? Yeah. So then, Sponsorship, that's well, what <laughs> Lending, lending is its own test, it's own test. Okay. right? Because lending's the most important mm -hmm. for a bank, for right? Yeah. But going to touching a little bit on the services and investments, right? So um, part of services are um, we have different ways of service the community or to provide services to a community. Um, and one of them can be exactly what we're doing right now, right? right. We're education. sharing we're education, exactly, yeah. uh, financial literacy, education, mm -hmm. things like that. And right now it's just education, showing you a little bit about why is it important for banks to do this, how you can take advantage of banks that need to do CRA. So 
you know, some of the things is that we have to make sure that we land in the low to moderate income, um, the areas mm -hmm. and the employee and the um, buyers. So we try our best to partner with different organizations, um, such as, or programs, I should yeah. say, such as Down Payment Plus, which okay. is a program from the Federal Home Loan Bank, um, which allows, has increased now, now it's $10,000. So there's a few things, there's, there's I know it, it pinch yeah. probably like, wait a minute, you're, but I just wanted to make sure we, we touch a little yeah. bit on that. Yeah, so. yeah, well that's what I was gonna say, the main way, we, t we want to serve everybody. We want to serve anybody that would be interested in coming to us. But we make special efforts to really try to reach the low and moderate income because th they may not have some of the resources. And we financial education or financial outreach is, you know, an important component of that. Mm -hmm. And so, like here, you know, part of Gabby's responsibility is really CRA outreach right. for mortgages. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that is her responsibility. And, you know, we're lucky because, you know, Gabby speaks more than one language. That's an advantage to us. But if you go throughout the bank, you're going to see, I think we speak 35 different languages. So we're not only yeah, able to yeah. interact with right. the, the Spanish speakers, you know, yeah. we're able to act with a, a lot of different ethnicities and backgrounds. So to our viewers, so sorry to interrupt you, to our viewers, if you think that we might not speak your language, you might be surprised. We yeah. might have those because we do have... Like Fanny said, 35 different languages here. So check with us. Check with yeah. us. Uh -huh. And I think probably the last thing I'm going to wrap up and say is, you know, part another part of Gabby's job is not only talking to you, but we've got some different nonprofits that are out there in different communities mm -hmm. that we partner with. And with them, we partner with them by trying to be a member of their board or committee, but they also hold buyer education events, right? So, you know, if you're getting, uh, if you have to have HUD certified uh, buyer education, these are the kind of nonprofits that can bring that to you. And Gab, you'll help fill in some of the, the, the names for me, like Northside Housing is one, and the Resurrection Project, mm -hmm. and Hispanic Coalition for Housing, yep. Northwest Center out in Belmont Cragen. So you might be asking, well, why do I need home education? Like, I mean, I talk to Leroy, right? I talk to Penny. I see this podcast. Why isn't that enough? Well, because when you're looking to purchase your home and you want to take advantage of those $10,000, um, this program requires for you to obtain a certificate. How do you obtain that certificate? You would have to get um, the certificate through a HUD certified agency, which will be the ones that we just mentioned, right? So there's some home education and some home counseling. And we can go into detail, um, maybe in another occasion when yeah. we have somebody yeah. from one of the housing organizations. Um, but I wanted to also uh, thank Penny. Yeah, but, but before we go, I want to, yeah. so, so. <coughs> I'm, I'm excited, I don't know how things go, I'm, I'm sorry. curious, up, so, <laughs> so you, you find someone who is sort of not so great. And, and I want to say it because there's a lot of folks who are probably going to watch this mm -hmm. that think it, they, that they can't afford. Right. Tell me, or I mean, or Penny, what, that you would guide them through this process, right? That's so, really going to be Gabby's you know, specialty. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. We'll guide them through this process yeah. to say, well, hey, you know, you're, you're at 580, but I can get you to five to, to 620. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And so the CRA, I mean, well, you as, the, as an outreach person mm -hmm. will kind of help them to guide them, but you'll send them through to, this, to these different organizations, correct? Yes. So um, we would, we would, I would talk to the potential buyer, right? We mm -hmm. will look at um, maybe budgeting even, and we can talk mm -hmm. about money smart in a little bit um, because that's part of, you know, that's the path to home ownership too, right? We have to learn how to budget. We have to learn that your credit score is acceptable. Could be, you need to have some money for the down payment or the closing costs. Yes, you may be able to access the $10,000. The $10, and I say maybe because it's, uh, you have to qualify, right? There's a, there's an income limit. We can go into details later on that. Um, but yes, this, these housing organizations can help with, um, with their credit, maybe building or rebuilding their credit. And we also here at Devon Bank have products that can help these customers. So one of our products is a secure credit card. Um, and, and, you know, people may say, you know what, I can't even open a checking account because I had, a ba I had yeah, some bad, bad history with my, with my checking account. You know, when you open up a checking account, 
you have the the banks required to do a history, right? Mm -hmm. on, on like a background check on your on your checking account, right, or, or savings account. Um, but there's we have a new product here. It's called Fresh Start. Okay. So there, I don't remember the minimum um, deposit amount, but it's a very uh, what would we call it friendly account where you, we don't do any uh, check um, to see you know if you had any bad history with in, within banking. It's, it's specifically designed to give people a second chance. Right. It's part of the whole bank on uh, regulation that was adopted by the state of Illinois that we really want to help people get a fresh start and get their entree into the banking system here at Devon Bank and other banks. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as Gabby was saying, it's one of the first steps to home ownership is establishing, you know, your financial history and your credit. I wanted to kind of just go back to, and we'll, I think we'll get back to that, but just to, on the business side as a, the CRA officer, um, what is there a particular business or any business that, that, that we would finance, that the bank would finance, or it's just a matter of how does the, that person that's in business for two or three or four years qualify for a, maybe a, a business loan or whether or not they go SBA or... Well, you know, the, the best thing to do is to uh, come in and talk to your commercial banker because it's going to be different depending on what kind of small business loan you need. You know, do you need an SBA loan? I mean, that's often a good start, okay. but it, it may not be what you need, right? Okay. So you yeah. really have to go in and talk to people. Um, you know, it's going to depend on how long a history you have, you know, is it something where you're buying a property, you're going to operate your business out of a property you're buying, or you're going to operate your property out of something you're renting, because all of those financial situations are different. Okay. Well, that's true. You know? So, yeah, so many different businesses, so it's a matter of... Uh, no, is, is that based on... And, and this is for education, for, the, for is that based on you, the person, or the business? It's based on both. And both. Yeah, it's based on both, right? So would that would that business person coming in would they have to get like a uh, like a you know not their social security number but the uh, their business number, what you the call it? EIN uh, number. Not the EIN, but the, uh, the the credit report number. A credit score. The, the, uh, the done the the Dunn's number. Dunn's number. No. Does, is it based on Dunn's number or social security number? Well, neither. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Let's get that straight to begin with. It's, Neither, a, it's, it's, asking, a, right? it's a combination. It's a, combination. It's a few <laughs> factors to determine an approval. You know, yeah, it's, okay. um, but something that I should mention right before I forget <laughs> is you know a, a lot of um, business owners, right? Yeah. Or uh, you know they they think that they can't separate their business credit from their personal credit. Right, right. And, and that's what I was looking for, the business credit. Right, and that's very important yeah, because, yeah. you know, you want to create the, the credit under the business, under keep business. it separate from your personal credit. So, you know, that's an, another time. We can deep into yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, that's, that's what I was asking. Yeah. If you guys use a DUNS or the DUNS, the, the DUNS number or the, um, or, or, you know, personal number. Cause you know, it, the business lending is me as cut and dried as you know the the mortgage you the know mortgage, okay. you know uh, at least here at Devon Bank you know you, you sit down with your lender you go through what your what what you want what you need what your history's been you know what your personal credit is what your business production is you go okay. through the whole thing um, I will say that um, we offer a product that a lot of banks don't and that is we offer Islamic financing Okay. Okay. And so for I, people you know, that... You briefly talked about that because we did one. I yeah. did yep. one. I and I'll, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> and I am going to step out here and, and let but, Carolyn but, but, step but, in. I, I, I appreciate you coming in because, um, I, you know, you've given us good information. And uh, we'll come back. Uh, again, this is the Middle Social Talk podcast. We'll come back with Carolyn. And Carolyn will be talking about smart loans. Uh, this is Penny. And Gabby, Gabby, Gabby is in because you know, I hope Gabby so, like to be in. Yeah, Gabby had to be. So <laughs> we'll go ahead and talk with um, with, with Carolyn in uh, uh, coming up next. So, you guys, we, we, we just talked to uh, to.
to Penny, and uh, you guys heard about uh, what CRA is. So, as I said on the top of the program, we will be talking to now Carolyn, and Carolyn is going to talk about smart money now. I should be okay with this, right? <laughs> but I, I'm not sure how smart I am either, right? So the fact is, we need to ask you how smart you are. I mean, and, and a lot of us think that we're smart. And I, I listen to a lot of financial program, right? And not everything, I mean, some things that I, that I hear, I'm like, oh, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. So I'm sure Penny will have some surprises for us, right? So Penny, again, Girl. Penny, uh, <laughs> Tell us about who you are and well, what you do here at Devon Bay. Well, okay. before Carolyn tells us who oh, she I'm, is. I'm yeah. Carolyn. Why am, I, why am I calling you Penny? Yeah, yeah. Penny was just here, by the way. Yeah. This day, how real is. Penny was just here. Right? So, so and then, and I was, I'm going to say something real quick before um, I let Carolyn talk. Um, so, we were, Leroy asked, how smart are you? Hmm. Let's correct that one. How money? How money smart are you? Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Because we can all be smart in different areas, but we're gonna. We want to um, be, be specific. A, specific. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna talk about how money, money smart, smart are you? Yeah, and let, and and Carolyn, can you tell us what is this program? Um, and we mentioned before when Penny was here, we talked about you know some of the things that a bank is required to do. Right. right? It's educate and financial you know literacy mm -hmm. and what you know and what's important to become a homeowner is to budget right to be smart with your money and here are um, I believe this is a tool but I'm gonna let Carolyn explain a little bit more about what what's this all about what yeah, is it but, how but do let we let introduce yourself because I mean we oh, wanna, yeah. okay let's know who you are <laughs> I know <laughs> you know we're just having fun yeah, right yeah. so I'm glad you guys are watching please share the please, please share the video uh, please share the YouTube video. Go ahead, Carolyn. Hi, introduce yourself. my name is Carolyn, and I am one of my jobs is the CRA coordinator at Divine Bank, and I've been doing it for about 20 years. Um, one of the things that Devon Bank is really um, high on promoting is financial literacy, and we do that via webinars, seminars, and um, even tutoring. And one of the ways and one of the products we're promoting is the FDIC Money Smart program. Um, what Money Smart is, is an interactive um, software where um, you can go online and you connect with the bank and you can just go at your own pace and there's de several different um, games and programs that you could do. Um, shall I tell you about some of the programs? I tell me all about it. Okay. <laughs> some of it. I mean, especially if you're looking to purchase a home, we have, there's programs out there for buying a home, um, making home, housing decisions, oh. um, using a no credit idea. card, um, <laughs> I, I have no idea. building your financial future. I mean, there's several programs out there that are very beneficial. I even went out there myself, and like Leroy said, you know, you think your money's smart, but I was surprised, and I've been in banking for 22 years, to know that some of these questions are quite challenging, but it's fun. It's like a game where the kids can go out there and they can play these interactive games. So, so it says kids or just anybody? It, it's anybody, really. But we promote it through the high school. And I say kids, but like young adults. Okay. We okay. promote it through the high school, even the grammar schools, but mostly high school because they're getting ready to get out here in the financial world. Trust mm -hmm. me, a lot of us don't don't know how to handle money. That's exactly right. So this should be promoted to everybody. 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 Because, you know, we got homes and grew up and kids and like, uh, we still don't know how to handle our money. We still live in paycheck to paycheck and don't know how to... Put a little here, put a little yeah. there. So well, I know back then yeah. our parents didn't really talk about no, they budgeting. Didn't, right? Right? So this is a great This is for tool. everybody. Yes, it is. You got kids, work it with your kids. Yeah. Because trust me, I'm going to log on. Because like, <laughs> yeah. like me and Gavin said, we think we know. Yeah. You're right? And then we yeah. were not. And I have a quick question, mm -hmm. Carolyn. You said um, you can go into the website and is that the FDIC website? It's the, uh, yes, it's uh, FDICmoneysmart.gov. Uh, and when you go on there, you can put in Devon Bank and connect with us. We can monitor the progress. And one of the things we're doing here at Devon Bank is to kind of as an incentive for to finish the program, we are offering a certain amount of money it, for them to open their checking account here. Oh, nice. Wait a minute. So, wait a minute. I really got a checking account here. Do I get more money? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh
Uh, that I'm not sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we, we have Renzo at Mills Realty. We can ask him. Listen, you have to get into this program, get your checking account, and you're going to get so many under two. I, I see exactly. How, let me know. If, if it's existing, why not? I mean, I can use, yeah. I can use more. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course. So go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead uh, yeah, go ahead. yeah. Mm -hmm. And outside of the Money Smart, um, the FDIC, along with the Small Business Administration, they have um, what's called Money Smart for Small Businesses. Okay. So that's a now little bit different. And, and what is that? What, do you mean? what is that? Yeah. Of, um, there's, now, this was a little bit different. It's not an interact program, but there are slides out there. And um, we have one of our loan officers that is trying to, um, if you may need... Um, like a proctor, if you will, someone to teach it, or okay. you can go online. The materials out there, but it tells you it, it has topics such as owning a business if it's a good fit for you, um, planning a healthy business, managing your cash cash flow, um, and oh, there's several uh, financial management, time management. Actually, this wow. is good. it's like a college course. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. But there are a lot in re in regards to uh, managing a business. So they also have that out there also, and that's FDIC.gov. Also, I'm not sure of the direct website, but it is uh, managing a business. Um, Lira, do you think that we can add the website um, into somewhere the and the YouTube? channel under check you know the, where check we can with, check with the person that edits okay right, i'll make sure i'll let them know okay yeah, yeah so we can make sure that we add that um website in there and to remind the public that if they i mean you can put any lender right i'm yeah. sorry any bank but when you come to the bond bank and you write in uh, under that website and you say that you're interested in working with the bond bank or how does how does that work um when I just what you're saying when when you go on the website when we go, when I go to the website, website and you choose the bond bank you just choose the bond bank got it and it'll okay. come up got it and, and it'll it connect, comes to you it'll connect the yes and I can go on there and I can look and see what the progress is who sign up okay and um, to see you know what's going on with it oh, yeah. okay so okay. yeah you just make sure you put in the bond bank to connect with us. Okay. This, this is great for young adults, yeah. for somebody that's looking to purchase a home, for somebody Even that's for looking to start adults, right, like and, and to to start a, a small business. Mm -hmm. um, all type of, I'm sure, tools and information that can be very helpful, right? So I mean, exactly. this, this this is information that really, I mean, I'm in business for a while, and I have, I don't even know about it. No. Okay. And, so and so there's a lot. There I, I don't know about it. And so it's, it's been out there for a while. It used to come in paper form, mm -hmm. but now they get sophisticated because who use paper? We're trying right. to save trees, even though I printed paper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's, it's and it's interactive, and kids love technology and computers. So right. when they go out there and they can play and go along the the, the topics at their own pace. Yeah, but you know, this is a, this is a real serious topic. To be mm -hmm. honest, even though it's for kids. I mean, it's not just for kids. No, like no, you said. I, you're, 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 you're promoting you're the kids. For, yeah, the, the many ninety percent of adults don't so know how to manage money. That's exactly yeah. right. You know, yeah. I have two young adults that don't know how to manage money. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> and, and, and just and, a very serious <laughs> topic. And does it does it cover, <laughs> Carolyn? By chance, does it cover about credit and the importance of credit? It does. It does. Perfect. That's there one we of go the again. topics. Because um, unfortunately, as young adults when we're in high school, you know, we're not. Um, we're not talking Spend. about credit, you know, we're not talking about budgeting, but no. we have the tools right here. And right. seriously, without credit, unfortunately, you know, we doors don't open that easily. So, I mean, yeah. I mean there's a topic it. using your credit card and there's another one, credit reports and scores. So I'll tell you the importance of credit reports uh, and scores. Question from behind the camera. Um, is it free? Is, do it, does it cost us anything? It's free. Great. Completely free. It okay. just costs you your time. Yeah, and and so that's up to you now, right? If you want to get better at all of these topics, you want to invest in yourself. You got to invest yeah. the time in yourself. So this is this is so important. I mean, I mean, even thinking about people who are you know losing their home, people who you know who've just made bad decisions, you know, mm -hmm. and they haven't paid their bills. I'm sure there's a lot of information on on, on probably ma and ma managing. Your, in fact, it's all about managing your money, yeah, right? That's exactly and right. instead of mm -hmm. so, sometimes instead of going to a class that spend 89 bucks a month you can sit at home and just do this right and take that hour you go to class and just kind of read this stuff mm -hmm. you know and learn how to do so this is the money smart 
I mean, I'm just, you know, I, like I said, I, you know, you guys promote the kids, but this is for everybody. And as mentioned, it's free. And it's free. So it doesn't cost you anything but sitting there instead of watching one hour TV, what one hour, you know, of doing this, which I think I'm going to sure log on because I want to know. <laughs> yeah, I like you know? it's investing in yourself, right? You said. You yeah, I, and you can only grow if you invest in yourself. Right. You can't, you know, you, you got to spend money. You're not even spending money. So, so what, what else topic do they have, or what else do you think that, that, that we oh, should let's know? See. Um, well, you just mentioned disasters, financial preparation, and recovery. Like, if you have that debt, how to restore it, how to get back on track with it, it, it tells you about that. Um, I also see um, that it mentions you can bank on it, and that's the program that we were talking about, just bank on. So if you go into their website and you go into, you can bank on it, it's going to give you a list of banks that are part of that program of Bank On, which Devon Bank is one of them through our Fresh Start account. So it's basically explaining to you what's that Bank On all about, right? So that's one of the topics that I see that is really good and helpful for, again, into budgeting, you know, being um, financially stable. Right. So does, does it? Um, so I guess uh, the question I wanted to ask, um, I was um, I had a question in my mind, but um, oh. <laughs> I lost it. so when it comes to you guys, do you um, when that program comes into you, do you reach back out to those people personally, or? Well, we had um, employees of the bank promoting it, and one of our um, officer, Herb Lowney, he would go into the schools and present the program. Or I will send the documentation because most people are tech savvy mm -hmm. and they just go to the website, they have instructions and they just go right in there. But if they want a demo on how to access it, mm -hmm. then we'll be happy to walk them through it. But does that mean they come into the bank or? Uh, no, we go there, we can go there. You go there. Mm -hmm. So is, is this part of then a more of a financial planning or, or you say, um, you know, like a professional finance person that comes out and help you. If, if you got to go to them, I, I just, I, my thoughts are: is it like part of part of financial planning? When I say that, look at you look at what they have and say, okay, you can do this, 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 and put this money here and all that kind of good stuff. Is mm -hmm. that part of that, like a professional? No, because we've been dealing with like the great student. No, but I'm talking about for adults. For adults, um, I haven't. No, we haven't um, went to do like a per personal financial planning. I think okay. that's what our trust department does. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we do have a trust yeah, department we do have here a trust department. at the moment okay. that can help you with financial planning. Or we can refer you to, you know, a lot of people think that, um, you know, you have to have money in order to talk to a financial planner. You don't. You know, a financial planner is really for that, right? For the intention for you to yeah. be able to budget yourself and finance yourself if by any chance you just don't feel comfortable, you know, with somebody at the at the trust department right now, you want to talk to somebody at the housing centers that they also help you with budgeting. Mm -hmm. okay. The trust department, we can get back to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Learning a lot of new stuff today, huh? Yeah, yeah. I did, I, I'm saying, if you don't talk, you don't know, right? Exactly. That's exactly right. <laughs> but, uh, but, but this is a, this is a, this is a great program um, for, I'm going to say for everybody. It's a great program for me because yes. I, you know, I, uh, I know I'm not as educated as I should be when it comes to money smart. Mm -hmm. Even though um, I, I think I'm good, mm -hmm. right? But I, 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 I know I'm not as good as I should, I should be, right? And, and I don't want to kid myself tell you, no, I, I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to say that. So okay. I, I have a, a yeah. quick question slash idea for Carolyn. So let's say that, you know, somebody from church, right? One of the youth leaders tells me, you know what, we want to... I heard you guys, I want to see how do, you know, how can, can Carolyn come to, you know, a gathering with the youth and explain to us, we can bring our laptops and you just kind of guide us where to go because it might be intimidating for them. Is that something that can be done or who do they reach out to? Do they reach out to you in order for them to be able to connect with the bomb bank and get access to this, to those incentives or who would they be calling? Thank you, Gabby, because I, I was focusing more on the school, okay. um, but it is for anyone. For anyone. It is for a, like a youth group at church, mm -hmm. and they can reach out to their contact, and you can just let me know, or the contact can let me know, and I'd be happy to go and demonstrate to them how to get there. Um, so, yes, that's something that can be done. Okay. Thank hmm. you. Yeah. 
Carolyn, you've piqued my interest. <laughs> I didn't, I, by the way, I didn't come to talk to Carolyn, but she, I, I only accidentally met her in the lobby. <laughs> yeah. so it, it was kind of good that you came up because um, you've made me be aware of some stuff that I wasn't aware right. of. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. And um, it just kind of makes my, my mind go, my mind turn. I'm thinking, I could present this to all the people that I know. You could. And other organizations that I'm a part of that probably have no idea. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. And, I, and, and they just, my mind is like, oh yeah, I can do that. I can tell the guys, come on, we, we have someone coming over to, to talk to us. Yeah. And I think I already have a, a, a something for you, but we'll talk about, <laughs> maybe we'll talk about that. <laughs> but, um, but Karen, is there anything else you want to tell us when it comes to... Uh, the Money Smart program. I mean, by the FDIC. But again, this is the middle. By the way, tell your friends. You can you can find us anywhere uh, you listen to your podcast. Go to you know Apple Radio, Apple or or, or wherever you um, wherever you go to to get your podcast. So, is there anything else that you wanted to um, tell us regarding Money Smart? I, I know you can't tell us everything, and, and this is sort of an individual. And people got to maybe come to you. But is there anything else you think you sh- we should know? Um. Not, not really, but um, the one thing they should know, your listeners, is um, if they don't want to reach out to Devon Bank, they just go to playmoneysmart.fdic.gov and please connect with Devon Bank and we can monitor their progress. And if they want to reach out to a Gabby or reach out to me, then... Um, or you can, or you can contact us. Well. A number to the bank in just in case? Um, so, what's four, six, five, like, 2500. Correct. Seven, wow. Seven. He has it. <laughs> <laughs> and this was brought to you by the bank. By and the you can contact <laughs> us at. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I work here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, 773 465 2500. You can get a hold of someone at the bank. Or, uh, by the way, this, this program will also be logged on to the middle social. Uh, to, to the website, uh, millsreal.com. Uh, for some reason, you can't get to YouTube, go to millsreal.com, and this program will also be on, on, on the millsreal.com. So, Carolyn, thank you for coming. Thank you that I accidentally met you. Thank you that I actually met you. And um, the, or, or the or next guest coming up will be Gabby. Um, you've seen Gabby on the, on the program, and we'll, we'll have a different conversation. So we've talked to Penny, we've talked to Carolyn, now we'll talk, me and Gabby will chit-chat about just what, what's kind of what's going on in the market today. So we know what CRA is, we know what smart money is, right? How, um, money smart. How, how smart you are, right? How money smart you are. And then uh, we'll, we'll talk a little about just kind of what's going on in today's market, what's happening. So again, this is the Middle Social Talk Podcast. Uh, our next guest coming up will be Gabrielle Roman Lopez. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Roman Lopez. Everybody has to know now. <laughs> and so we're coming up with Gabriel for the next, um, on the next uh, se- uh, segment.